Yo guys, Liam Wilson here, just giving you a quick video rundown on how I created the track Liam Wilson Always With Me. Uh, it's now out on Subculture and uh, I'm going to give them this video an insight into the production techniques that went into making that track. Uh, the track is full of different melodies and atmospherics to create that really like melodic sound with loads of feeling so I'd like to show you some of the processes that went into coming out with that final product so if you're interested in seeing how I've created this track then carry on just watching the video and uh, you hopefully you like and you learn something or you get a better understanding from the way that the track was made so here goes guys enjoy it and uh, thank you very much for the support and I hope you love the track as much as I do see you later right now ladies and gentlemen uh, here is the rundown of my track Always With Me, which is on Subculture. So I'll go through the details and just show you how things are built. Right now, this is just the it's part of the just before the mix down stage because uh, obviously I wanted to show you how things were created and stuff. So don't be just looking at loads of waveforms as that won't be very useful for a lot of years. Uh, so we'll start off here. If you go, I keep everything in folder sections, keep everything, try to keep things a little bit more organized anyway. Sometimes that doesn't work, sometimes it does. But uh, so if I go up into this first, the very first folder, I'll just show you what's up in here. I keep everything at the top, uh, like effects and things, sweeps and stuff like that. So if I just solo this whole group, get them in, see what's in there. Start off, I think it's just like the atmospheres and things like that. Yeah, so this section is basically just built up of sweeps. Uh, some of these atmosphere samples are things I think from Omnisphere where I just exported the synth sound turn it into an atmosphere bit of side chain and stuff on there some side reverb uh, that gives it a really nice texture to the beginning I think it gives a lot of tension and stuff obviously mixed in with some crashes a couple of booms got some nice uh, flanges and stuff on the on the white noise and uh, just taking a bit of the top end off just so it's not as harsh on your ears um, what else have we got here some little weird whatever that is some weird effects yeah some nice like spacey type effects there love that sort of sound that's uh, really nice and obviously a break beat this is just more of a just for the atmosphere, I think it's the it's from Avengers pack. It's quite low in the mix as well. If you listen to it with all the all the track put together, it's not the forefront of the actual uh, track. It's just a really supporting element to uh, just give a bit of a funkiness to the beginning of the track. I think just wanted it to be a little bit different. effects and stuff we've got in here. Nice and more weird stuff. Nice little snare build. So look what's in that snare build. I do everything in audio pretty much. Uh, loads of fades and stuff on the snares just to uh, basically so that it's not if anything overlaps and stuff uh, I don't want any clips or anything coming out and they've got clicky sounds it's a nice little uh, snow build let's just turn them off see that I think it's got a bit of side chain on there as well let's have a look yeah but put quite a bit of processing on that kick drum as well so if you have a look well it's not so much processing but I've got a decapitator on there from Sound Toys uh, just the drum fattener on there a uh, tiny bit of reverb a little bit of EQ taking that low end out so I don't want it to interfere with the kick when the kick comes in another EQ 
love a bit of EQing. Uh, that's basically it for the effects and stuff at the beginning of the track. Uh, I do add some different effects through, <coughs> and uh, we'll go through and have a look at them in a second later on. So let's have a look now, move on to, uh, I think it's best look at the percussion maybe. Uh, with the percussion, this is just, oh, i got the other loops, yeah. With the percussion, I've bounced this down because when I was mixing through the mixing down sort of stages, I just run this through a, a compressor and stuff, just a multiband. <laughs> And that's the full conf uh, full uh, percussion groups and stuff added together. But I'll run a little, little extra loop on top. All of the, my sounds as well all have nice little reverbs on to give uh, give some nice texture too. But if we're just go into these percussion elements first and I can just show you what is actually in there. But they're all disabled now these channels. I, I always once I bend stuff down I never get rid of the channels. I always just uh, I just disable them as they're uh, they're still in the project so I can go back and edit stuff after. So let's just have a look what's in here. Um, Just a loop that I've cut up from, uh, from, from Sounds of Revolution, no kick. Um, it's got a side chain on, e plenty of EQ. Yeah, it's a really harsh side chain on that one, just to cut through it. So look at the kick. Too. And then I sidechain it to make room for this kick, I mean for this clap. It's a clap from the Steve Elstrip's Thrill Seekers pack. Nice little bit of reverb on there, nothing too hectic. It's just a room verb on the, on the clap and uh, some nice bit of EQing. Just little rolling hats on there as well. This is actually from Vengeance One Pack, uh, with a bit of side chain on. Nice reverb. Uh, the, uh, these are panned harshly to the right as well. I do a lot of panning. That's panned a lot to the right. The clap always keep the clap centre. First loops pan to the left. Got some more hats here. I think these hats got a nice little delay and stuff on these. These have really got really nice texture to this, so I love this sort of sound. Just a ping pong delay on some running on some apes. Uh, nice little bit of read. Not actually no EQ on that one. I've used the QBS EQ. Side chain, but not as harsh. And a little bit of reverb, so listen to that together. And then, <coughs> this one is like a Thrill Seeker style, uh, but it's again, it's just a Vengeance loop. I've just chopped up, just edited a bit, well, I've just edited where the hit points are, if you go inside and just make sure everything's in time, you don't want any loops out of time, now, unless you've done it deliberately, it's for groove's sake. That's pretty much all the percussion there. It's nice open hat.
again so I've just got that nice sort of rolling I went for the sort of old school sort of sound um, percussion because I thought it, the track I wanted to have that really vintage sort of vibe but I think it uh, definitely worked so we just hide this <coughs> hide them tracks and then that's basically all the percussion percussive elements and now if we just move move on to the uh, move on to the arps and melodies because I did focus this on a lot of different arps and melodies and things like that so there's a lot of different stuff in here some of it's still in MIDI some of it's in audio uh, this. let's have a look if uh, some of these so. some of these channels again so you can see what is going on uh, yeah, down here. so th this uh, this IP is actually from Zebra I think um, a nice little square sort of loop sort of sort of emulating the sound of the uh, the main lead like following the same pattern but just quite low in the mix at the beginning of the track just because for the for the main bit I used this old school art which I bounced down using the um, it was using the SEM V2 synth from Arturia uh, just a art but just it was I just designed this setting from a preset <laughs> of delay and stuff on if you listen to it quite dry it sounds pretty pretty uh, pretty rubbish but it just went so you see that really old school sort of sound so that's how I did that that's just a nice little element for the intro melody this is just some stabs let's, let's just off a sample pack I guess um, I've got this. This is a lovely little sound. This is from Zebra. Love Zebra synth. It's got dropsicles. It's called. I just edited it a little bit, but so I'm gonna kick that sound. Really nice. made up this is something from Omnisphere I use Omnisphere so much in my tracks I absolutely love it it's one of my favourite synths uh, that's just an old synth pluck you get a really nice sound from this one and then this is just playing the, this is just a chord pluck sequence which is a uh, from Sally. I think the preset from that is from the definitive pack and uh, just edited it a little bit. It's the Brazil 2 sample, I think. Uh, well, uh, preset. It's just playing the chords uh, from the same phrasing as the uh, main melody. So that's basically all the arps and melodies in there, apart from the main lead, which is just up here. It's made up from a lot of different sounds as well. Um, got a sub bass. It's just a very simple uh, sub bass from Silent. Just a sub, no, just a normal round off beat sub. And then that's obviously made up of uh, a few different bass lines. Then I have like I bounced down this one, which is the main bass line. <laughs> Then there's a couple of bass lines on top of that. So there is actually, I think, altogether, there's another one, two, three, four, five, six, six bass lines in that one. 
plus the two that I've just edited over the top, so there's quite a lot of basses going on. <laughs> Oh, with bit crushes on and reverbs uh, if you want to look at the notation inside just some uh, 16th and they're all like doing slightly different patterns just to sort of speak to each other really to create that nice groove so that's the beginning of the track really with all the bass lines uh, the pads, um, there's a piano that's just that is actually the piano I used. Um, let's have a listen. It's actually um, from. It's down here. The piano is from Nexus. It's just a. Uh, it's the grand Nexus grand piano with a shitload of delay on it, and some reverb and a saturator as well to give it that warmth. Really works though. Um, I bounced these pads down. They're just transgated pads made up from uh, uh, from Nexus and Omnisphere, uh, and then I also put over like let's put these little phasing pad things in here. These are pretty cool. This is from Zebra, but they're not actually following the full pattern. They're just hitting certain chord notes. They give a really nice texture as well. that over the top of your normal pads brilliant I love that so that's basically all the pads I've got in there and then I think I added some more pads over the top because I got I need to put some more in so just hide these these are from Nexus. This is the analog meets digital pads. These are brilliant. Put some strings over. I'm not playing for the strings from contact, but I think I ended up using Omnisphere on the actual string. Uh, then we move on to the main lead. actually made up of a few different things you've got the main lead there which is from it's the virus preset from I think temple ones pack on there uh, on massive the, with this I kept the, the top line of the melody actually pretty simple because I wanted to concentrate more on the chord structure the chord uh, progressions to give the feeling and uh, if you look this way, changes at this last phrase here really flows nicely together but it's got so much feeling to it especially when you play when you have all these other <laughs> uh, like the pads the sub pads and everything um, I think as well just show you some of these vocals, like what I did with the vocals, I think. Oh, that's just a big, it's labelled wrong. Uh, these vocals. These are actually from, uh, just turn these on.
So that's just little stabs. I actually got this. Just loads of reverb and stuff on just to work with the pads to create that uh, drama sort of sound. So you listen to it together. So I've got the sounds right. Also, I think on these uh, melodies, I think I've, um, that was just like a pluck, I think. So I actually use the I bass on there to add, a bit, to add a bit more depth to the bottom end. So yeah, I didn't think it was getting a lot of. It, it wasn't getting a lot of and then the leads. Um, I think it was a little bit. So just spread them out. They're not phasing now, but I think when I just had the one lead uh, stem, if I remember rightly. Yeah, can you see there? It's phasing really badly. I actually counteracted that by just duplicating the uh, duplicating the lead tracks. Pound one left, pound one right, and then uh, and, the, and I've rever inverted the phase on one of the channels as well. So then when when we look at that, no phasing whatsoever. So then everything together. everything putting the track together all playing together so um, I hope that was a bit of an insight for you to see what has actually gone into the track it's not a massive project to be honest it was mainly about the sound selection and the way things are mixed together but everything seems to work nicely together and it's been getting a great reaction so far so hope you enjoyed uh, the little run through and uh, please uh, head over and grab your copy of always with me if you like it and uh, support the track Thank you very much. It's been, been Liam Wilson. Been a pleasure.